What's good, people? Welcome back to the channel. KG is back, and it's time for a transfer update. An update on Leeds United's search for a defensive midfielder and also talk of a striker possibly leaving. And I'm being a bit naughty with this one, but I'll go into it in just a bit. Listen, before I get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, of course, drop your comments below. Join me tonight for the live match reaction after the big game against Sheffield United. Big game. Want to get your thoughts on the match and everything else in between. We'll speak about that in detail after the game. Can't wait for this game to come. Um, and listen, shout out to William Morrison for the super thanks on the last video. You, thank you for the support and thank you to all existing members. And listen, every member is appreciated. So thank you so much for that support. And if you want to become a member, the link is in the description. Now, we're going to speak on Francis Coquelin, a, a player I'm very familiar with from his time at Arsenal and Villarreal. I remember him playing for both very well. Um, but it's been reported by multiple outlets yet from yesterday, actually. But I just wanted to get a little bit more clarity on this one. So I waited a day to do it. But listen, uh, TalkSport and Ben Jacobs and a few other outlets have reported that Francis Coquelin is on trial at Leeds United. He's one of the free agents that Danny Farker would have been speaking about in terms of bringing in to, to cover for the defensive midfield. Uh, he is 33 now. Time just moves on. It, it waits for no one. I remember Coquelin being a, a young prospect back in the day, but now he's he's 33 years old, but by no means washed. And it sounds like he's willing to play at championship level. I will say in, in regards to his ability, uh, that if we get him at championship level, that is a good deal. The one major red flag, and it can't be just one little red flag, it's a major one, is his injury history. And with this player... When he plays, he's a difference maker. I remember when Villarreal won the Europa League. He was a big component of that. With Unai Emery as his coach, by the way. Uh, there we go. Villa mentioned for everyone that has a shot every time I mention Villa on here. But he was he was integral to that team. Uh, it was a couple of years ago now. I think it was around like 21 or, or 20. Yeah, 2021. But he was a big component. But he's had a few injury issues since then. So... What this signing says to me, it's going to be like the Man of Solomon one, where when he's on the pitch, he's going to be a difference maker, but he's got, you know, injury troubles. And if you just look at his last few, in, in particular, ankle injury, that happens, but Achilles tendon irritation. And then, of course, the big one is the cruciate, which we know through history is a massive, massive injury. The plus side of him being at Leeds United, though, is that we do have the ball most of the time. So when he is on the pitch, yes, he will have to track back and do his defensive work, but we will have the, the ball for a majority of the game. So he shouldn't have to do so much running back and, and you know, last ditch tackles here and there. Because as you see throughout games, no matter if you find them exciting or boring, we do have a lot of the ball. So if Leeds United can find that his fitness is good enough if he passes the medical... I do think that this can be a real handy addition uh, towards the end of the season, from now to the end of the season. But what say you? Is there anyone else in mind that, that you prefer? Would you prefer Kiate, uh, Kakalan? Would you prefer a different one that, that hasn't been mentioned or linked with yet? Let me know in the comments. What I will say as well is that we aren't going to get a, a top-class performer free because they're free. I'm, I'm recording this the 18th of October for a reason. You know, the, whatever reason that may be, they haven't been picked up by many professional football clubs. So if you're looking for the perfect signing, it's not going to happen. And we know we're going to need a short-term addition until Ampadu gets back. Like I say, I think Gurev might be done for quite some time. But we do need some help in that defensive midfield area 100%. So let's see what happens with this one. We'll see if anything gets announced over the weekend. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, one player who's got a bright future. Uh, I mentioned this on yesterday's stream, actually, in terms of Luca Thomas uh, possibly going out on loan. He has joined York City. He, in fact, joined as I was doing the stream live. So there you go. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's got nine goals in seven games in, in the under-21s in all competitions. It's going to be good to see him go out and play men's football. I would have thought, I would love to uh, wait till January to give him a League Two loan. But listen, National League is still a high level and it will be good for his development. I'm looking forward to seeing what Luca does out on loan. I will be keeping an eye on him because I've got... Good. I've got not high expectations, but I've got good expectations for him because he looks like he's got that real killer instinct in front of goal, which you, you just can't teach. Speaking of uh, killer instincts that you just can't teach, Patrick Bamford. Now, you guys know I, I don't just do any old sources, and this is Football Insider, but I'm a big believer in you've got to put out to the universe what you want, and I want this to happen. I want it. And I feel I deserve it. 
Okay, so I'm going to report on this one. I'm going to put this one out because it sounds like Patrick Bamford could be looking to leave before the end of his contract. Now, I've said when it comes to the summer, we may have to give him that sweet golden handshake and say goodbye. I don't want to see, I, I didn't want to see him this season. I didn't want to see him last season. I, I haven't wanted to see him for a while, but I'm talking about the here and now. I thought that when we go up, and I said when again, yes, I did, that we we give him the handshake and say, look, you got a year left on your deal. Let's sever ties. Off you go. Go and play football somewhere else. Sign our see you later. Well, according to this report, it sounds like Patrick Bamford is getting frustrated with his lack of game time, which is quite unusual for me because I, I honestly didn't think that he cared about playing, but fairs. It seems like he's not happy with the, the game time he's getting. But also on Leeds end, it sounds like we're not very happy now. L let me just say this. Th the source isn't me. I just got to say this because uh, Mick Brown, who is the Man uh, Chief, former Man United Chief Scout, he, he said a few comments and you would have thought I wrote this. You would have thought that I'd written this, but I, I didn't. I promise you. Uh, but let me just get into a little bit of it. Um, he's now down the pecking order behind Mateo Joseph and per Joel Peru, which is what I said at the start of the season should be the case if he wasn't to leave. Um, let me just let me just let me just get to one of the the funniest bits. No, no, no that's not it. I've, I've gone past it. The 31 year old recently admitted that he'd considered leaving Leeds upon their relegation from the Premier League, but experienced a late change of heart. Why? Why did you experience a change of heart? Don't do that again. You know what I mean? Follow your heart, man. Follow your heart. But this is Mick Brown's comments, and I, I promise you people, I did not write this. Believe me or not, I didn't. Here's what Mick Brown said. I've heard Leeds are open to letting him leave. His record in front of goal isn't particularly impressive and hasn't been for a while. He's had countless injuries as well, which have caused them trouble. Where Leeds want to go, they want to earn promotion, and they want to be a Premier League side. He doesn't fit that mold because he couldn't cut it last time they were up, other than the one season which was an outlier by all means. Swear to God, I did not write that. That that's not me. No, no, no. But where's the lie? Where's the lie? So listen, I'm hoping that there are some legs to this report, and I'm gonna give it legs by just putting it further out there. And listen, I just hope it happens. Look, I would love something to happen in January. Never mind the summer. Look at look at what we could do with that wage. We could probably get two players in in the side with his wages at championship level who would be more than serviceable to help get us up. I, I just feel like if you get him out and you want to then bring in another forward, let's say there's someone available on loan in January, we can then do that. But his wages, his place in the team is blocking so much at this football club, just so much, whether it be on the pitch, fans' expectations of him off the pitch. He, there's just so much that he's blocking and he doesn't give anything to the cause, nothing at all. So if we can get something done in January, cool, that would be great. But maybe he is looking at the end of the season. He's just had a, I think he's just got married and everything else. So looking at the human side, maybe he's thinking a fresh break come the summer, which I, I understand from his point of view. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that there's more murmurings of this rather than a couple of months ago when we was hearing that Leeds United were looking to give him a new contract. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't run with that. That that was awful news for me. So we spoke about it then. So this is the better update for me. And I hope this does happen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So, guys, that is it for the for the update. We're going to be back after the Leeds United Sheffield United game. Please, three points. That would be great. Get a loss on Sheffield United record. But listen, people, that is that is the video. Like it before you go. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.